I'm going to go see uh, just what's the supplier lead time for one of our common suppliers, Alpine Ski House. And I get back a response, and the reality is Copi doesn't know how to get that information because it's not inside the Microsoft Graph and it's not available on the web. Um, but the good news is there's a great extensibility story here. So if I click over, I can see that I can go register plugins, but I can also use Copilot Studio to create a plugin for my systems if a, a plugin doesn't already exist. So if I go launch this experience, I land right into Copilot Studio where I can start to build what we call these conversational plugins. And what conversational plugins do is it allow me to register a trigger phrase, which will execute a series of steps or even multi-turn conversations based on what the user has entered. So I'm just going to go in and add this conversational plugin. And this makes it really easy to go extend Copilot kind of however I need to do it for my business. And say if I click through here, I land right into a visual designer that kind of everybody knows and loves from the Power Platform. And inside this designer, the first thing I do is I create what's called a trigger. So with a trigger, I provide details and prompts about when I want to execute this plugin. So this is how Copilot in Microsoft Teams knows when to execute this particular plugin that I've built. In this case, when someone asks about supplier metrics and performance. But of course, I want to take actions and do things in response to that question. So if I click down here, I can use something that we call generative answers. Generative answers allow me to register websites, SharePoint sites, and more, which are then synthesized and replied back to the user to answer their question. And what's great is I can hard code exactly the data sources I want. So if I go click through and use this generative answers, I'm going to get a great experience where I can configure up to four different websites and four different SharePoint sites where I'll go pull information from to answer the question. And this is just as easy as putting in the URL or selecting the, the necessary websites and documents. And it's not just web or SharePoint. I'm also able to use Azure AI Studio and other Azure AI capabilities to extend my Copilot. So I can start from low code and go all the way to pro code. So for this case, I already have a SharePoint site where I have documents about supplier information. So I'll just paste in that URL and add it. And this is how I can guide exactly the reply I want inside of my plugin. And to show what it's using, I'll say just click through this URL and look at that supplier fact sheet. It's 20 pages, unstructured data, tables, and information about all the different suppliers that I use inside of my enterprise. And this is a great way to go make sure that all the different supply associates like me can understand exactly what's happening when I'm using Copilot in Teams. So I switch back over to Copilot Studio, select the input text from the question the user asked to pass that into that data source, and able to get all of this wired up very easily and very quickly. Now that I have that, I just go up and save and publish. And what's great is when I publish this conversational plugin, it's not just for me. It can also be for people on my team, or if I'm in the IT organization, I can publish it for the entire company. So I switch back over here, ask that same question I did before, where are the lead times with supplier Alpine Ski House, and I get back an answer. And this answer is from that document. You know, Within 10 days of order placement, that's the average delivery time. And this is great, it's good to get started, but the reality is I want to be more interactive and use the data that's stored in my systems of record. My back office knows exactly the expectations for these suppliers. So I'm going to go back to Copilot Studio, I'm going to create a new plugin. And for this plugin, I'm going to use a different set of data sources. So the first thing I'll do is I'll have the same trigger as before. So I'll paste that in because the same types of questions that users are going to ask. But I'm going to use something different. I'm going to call a, to my SAP instance and a custom REST API defined to bind together this information and give an answer that's exactly right at that point in time. So for step one, I'm going to go down to that call in action. And here we have those 1,100 plus pre-built connectors and plugins. So whether it's SAP, ServiceNow, Workday, and more, you can connect to it seamlessly in Copilot Studio. So I'll just search for SAP and I'll be able to get back all the information I care about um, for the different actions I can execute against my SAP instance. And in this case, I'm just going to read from an SAP table, and I'm just going to go configure a few other things like the table name that I care about and more. 
And this will allow me to easily pull from that information no matter where it's hosted using the on-premise data gateway if needed to connect on-premise or the standard connectors you already know from Power Platform. But that's only step one. I then want to take the result from SAP and I want to pass it to my custom REST endpoint. And I can do that inside of Copilot Studio by calling this action. And just like we have the 1100 pre-built connectors and plugins, you can add the 1100 and first by registering your own backend systems. So in this case, the order delivery rates API is something that I've created and configured, hosted inside of Azure. And of course, I like Azure API management, so that's where I registered my endpoint as well. So I click through that. And what I start to do is I'm sequencing a bunch of individual API calls to fulfill this question from the user right inside of Copilot. And this sequencing is important because I want to control exactly how I pass information between these two systems uh, to go generate my response. And here, what I've done is I've highlighted something called the generative response. The reality is I don't want to respond back with JSON or unformatted text. I want to synthesize information from both SAP and my REST API back to the user. So I use that generative response. I provide the information from the previous steps just by selecting it inside the designer. And then I'm able to provide a prompt and instructions to guide how I want to format the information and the information I particularly want to highlight. So all of this comes back in a really easy, simple workflow going across lots of different systems to give exactly that real-time information. Now, I click back out, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I go save and publish to Microsoft Copilot, and this will allow me to go ask that question in real time. Switching back to Teams, and inside of Teams, I'll ask Copilot, what are the lead times with supplier Alpine Ski House? And I get an answer which orchestrates across those two different steps and tells me it gets fulfilled within 10 days of order placement and has an 86% on-time delivery rate over the last six months. So all of this can be wired up inside of Copilot Studio, and you can start with low code or go all the way to pro code as needed.